send in blue email automation for beginners. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can start sending emails using send in blue and how you can use their email automation function. So let's get into it. And first off, you're just going to click on sign up for free over here at the top right. And then you're just going to enter your email or password, or you can sign up via Google as well. I prefer signing up via Google because it saves me a lot more time. Now, once you do that, this is going to be your basic dashboard for send in blue. This this is your basic home page. Now I already have this account and I have done some work on this account, but generally first off you're going to see on your left side you have your dashboards, then you have your email templates, statistics, and settings. Below that, you have a general upgrade and SIM credit. And on the top, you have your campaigns, automations, transactional contacts. And if you click on this plus icon, this will head you to the app center of Send in Blue, so you can integrate different apps into your Send in Blue account. Now, if you click on the top right over here, you can see your profile settings, your general plan that you're using, any plugin or integration that you need, senders and IP, SMC, TP and APIs, users, your language, and a logout button. Now, to begin your automation process here on Send in Blue, first off, you need to start creating your campaigns. And a automation is very simply defined by this little graph because if a person has opened an email, you want to maybe send a new email. If a person subscribes to a list, you want to update their attributes. If they are added to a list, if they place an order on your website, you want to add them to a different list. So this is how you automate your workflow on Send in Blue and optimize your email marketing because that is what Send in Blue is primarily used for. And first off, if you just click on create your first workflow, you can see that there are some very basic workflows already provided by Send in Blue. And these include abandoned cart flows, product purchase flows, welcome messages, a marketing activity, anniversary date. So these are some of the most important ones, which I find that are already created by Send in. So Send in Blue really does reduce your time. And even if you go into the number one competitor of Send in Blue, which is MailChimp, which is one of the most popular email marketing softwares out there, you will not get any kind of templates on their free version. You can see over here. Well, if we were to compare this to the Send in Blue pricing, you can see you get unlimited contacts. You can send up to 300 emails per day and you can chat with up to one users. Well, if you compare that to MailChimp, you get just a creative assistant, website builder, MailChimp domain, forms and landing pages. So this is just web development. All we're really getting is a marketing CRM and that is quite useless in the basic terms of email marketing with limited amount of contacts here on MailChimp. Now, this is why I do recommend everyone does check out Sin Blue before for they choose their email marketing partner because Send in Blue provides the best automations, the best general features that you're going to need as your first or starting email marketing campaign on a decent price as well. So if you even have a large monthly volume, so if you want to send like over 40,000 emails, you can still send them in a decent price of around $54, which is pretty decent. And even if you want premium features and you want to send 40,000 emails, it's going to cost you $80, which is not as high as compared to its basic competitors, where to get all the features that you get on the premium version of Send in Blue, comparatively on MailChimp, you're going to have to go for the premium on MailChimp, which starts at $300, which can be very, very pricey. So in comparison, Send in Blue is definitely the better option. Now, moving back to our main focus, which is the automation part of Send in Blue. Now, you can see these are the most popular automations, but if you click on improve engagement, you can see there are some different automations available as well. So you can even create your own custom workflows. So if you click on this button over here, you can enter a new name for a workflow. So let's just say birthday special discount, or if it's a special day, so you could say owner's birthday discount. If you want to provide a different kind of automated workflow, you can do that. And then you can even add a description for your workflow and allow your contacts to enter workflow more than once. After that, you're going to click on start automating. Now, after that, you're going to add the first entry point. So owner's birthday discount. Obviously, this is going to be provided on a certain date within a year. So you're going to add a 
date. So let's just say there are basic entry points to your workflows. There's email activity, there's contact details. When a contact submits a form or website activity. So you can add any kind of basic entry point to your workflow. You can see over here, there are a bunch of things you can do. And then you can add a attribute. So now let's just say that if owner's birthday discount is provided when there is a special event that is happening, so you can add this kind of event and then you can add a special condition to this event. You can add data of the event if there is a special party or anything like that, but then you can add some more stuff. So you can see over here, you can trigger a script by a custom event. For example, it may be the tracking of a command and the workflow will be triggered when this event name is passed in track event call or in the checkout section of your send in blue email so if someone is checking out from your website and this word or this event pops up and they join then they can receive this discount so let's just date this i'm going to click on ok so you can see over here this date is the entry point for this owner's birthday discount and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on add and then you can add what you want to do when this entry point is triggered. So whenever this date arrives, do you want to send a SMS? Do you want to send an email notification? if you want to update contact attributes. So there are automations that work beyond just sending emails like blacklisting a contact or updating a contact attribute, calling a webhook, removing a contact from a list. But this is a simple email marketing update. So you're gonna send an email. You can use obviously your template email and you're just gonna click on continue and add the template email. I haven't created the template email, but this is how you activate the workflow. You just add your finishing line and that's it. Now, this is just a basic basic email marketing one, but if you were to create a different workflow that is not revolving around email marketing. So if we were to say that uh, you can see th these are just email marketing ones, but if you click on create a custom workflow and let's just name this ABC and we're going to start automating and first you're going to add your entry point. So what is going to be the condition that needs to be fulfilled for people to trigger this workflow? So if you have created forms, you can obviously use this. If you have website activity, when a contact visits your website and you can add the link for your website as well, or in terms of email activity, you can see over here that if you already have some active campaigns, you can add these as well. But when a contact is added to this list, my first list, I want the contact to be removed from the other list. So maybe if someone was prior just a view only customer that was not purchasing any of your product, only browsing them and you had them on a separate list after they have purchased a product, a specific product, you can remove them from obviously the other list and add them to the different list and you can activate this workflow. And just like that, this process has been automated. Now, this is how the basic automations here on Send Blue work. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to set up your own automations as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.